Hi friends, all for art and art for all. So I'm going to do some overlapping cylinders and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's start with my top two. Two, four shortened circles. And then I'll center one here. And then for these to overlap, I want to make sure that I don't put my next cylinder way out here. I want it to go over the edge a little bit. So let's make sure these go in front of each other. And then I'll center the next one. Center the next one. And then one more. And then we can start building our cylinders from this top one, or rather the front one. So I'm going to put a rounded contour down below and go straight down, straight down. Now, if I go straight down and straight down again, I want to keep these about the same height. So whoop, whoop, round that bottom straight down, around that bottom, and straight down, straight down, around the bottom, straight down, rounded bottom, straight down, stopping when I hit the cylinder in front. So straight down, I want these guys, they're all in a row, so there's the rounded bottom. Straight down, and then straight down, straight down, rounded bottom, straight down, straight down, rounded bottom. And I chose the right hand side to make a little darker and kind of clean up my edges of my cylinders while I do this. So make the right hand side a little darker, maybe clean up my cylinders to the four shortened circle that's at the top, take care of any uneven edges. Clean up the bottom, and then I put a few little contour lines coming out of my shadow. And it's just a way of making it look not as dark, almost a gray suggestion of gray. So using hatch marks. do my shading and then on this outside maybe I have maybe I can see this part of a shadow and then there you go we have some stacked cylinders all for art and our 